lend us your ears for a few moments. Just like the aged tree there, the party has been rent in two, but as the top of it still lives on today, so will the party of Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson, if old Hickory were alive today, he would hardly recognize him. Just remember that the only true candidate of the people is Judge Douglas of Illinois. The North, they are much lies lies in the the North. Talking about a candidate today. for whom you voted 30 years ago, the last Democrat supported in this area, if the elector for the Honorable John Breckenridge would like to step into the wagon first, I will kneel here and allow him to step upon my back as one of his slaves to be able to get up and look down upon the people. Georgians, we all know what the issue that stands at this election is, as we all know what kind of nation this is. This is a white man's nation. This is a white man's republic. The Constitutional Union Party's three planks include one, the Constitution of our nation, two, the union of our states, and three, enforcement of the laws democratically passed by our people. Long live the Constitution! Long live the Constitution indeed! And long live the Union! It is the choice of you, the people. We, as good citizens of these United States, have a providential call, a manifest call to make it to the Pacific Ocean. We have our rights to property no matter where we go in this great nation. He is speaking to you not of a southern way of life, but of a wealthy, elite planter class's way of life. Breckin Ridge was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Indeed he was. And what of John Bell? And Senator Bell of Tennessee said that if we continue along this path, we will bring ourselves to the brink of war. It is your choice, it is your decision, good people of Georgia, that as you find yourselves wanting to move west as Providence guides, not to take along with you the poison sent by this southern faction enough, of this party, this but that it is enough a party of free poison. people. The freedom of the people be heard. These planters demand that we your vote today the wicked and tomorrow the they will the demand party. your blood on the altar of their property. The planters will not fight the war. They will not send their own sons to fight. They will send you and they will send your sons to die. Loyal citizens of Georgia, we may be divided politically, but we are all citizens of this state. And if war indeed does come, we've got to defend her. I urge you on to the cause. We're calling a country for Georgia. Let's go!